How's it going guys? It's Rujenki here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is the Redmi Note 3 Pro. This is the Snapdragon variant but what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about how to firmware restore or unbrick this device right here. Um, this will be even with a locked bootloader this will still work for you. So the first thing you need to do is you need to identify the product that you have. So if you go into about phone here or settings and then about phone you can look at some information here to help you identify the device that you have and the variant that you have of this product. Now, if you haven't and you, you can't get in a device because you're stuck in a boot loop and all you're seeing is the little boot animation at the beginning, um, I'll show you, like a, like a so, and it boots up and it boots up and it just never boots, and that's all you can do, then you really need to check out my latest video or previous video. Um, and it'll really explain a way to check out what product you have. So if you're stuck on this screen and it just keeps looping, that's a boot loop, that's a soft brick, and I can show, still help you figure out that variant. So check out that video, I'll link in the description down below. Now, let's say you're stuck in a boot loop and we need to restore this device. We can only get into fast boot mode, basically, or ADB siloed mode, or a test mode. Those are only the modes you're really gonna be able to get to. So if that's the case, I'm gonna show you what to do. Um, if you're boot looping still, you just hold volume down and power. So you hold volume down and power while you're boot looping. And eventually what should happen, or when you're powered off, you should come into this mode, fast boot mode. Okay? Now, you can't restore the firmware in fast boot mode unless you have an unlocked bootloader. Well, we don't have an unlocked bootloader. But what we do have is some files and some cool tricks that we can do to get into basically Qualcomm boot mode. And once we get there, we can actually use um, a, f a tool on my computer to restore the firmware. Um, also note, a lot of these Redmi Note 3s come with a reseller firmware and it has a lot of garbage on it. And even they even remove some of the functionality like the um, IR blaster on top. I didn't have an app to use it and I had ads on the lock screen and it was uh, irritating. So this will also remove that stuff because you'll go back to full stock. Um, from MIUI, which is way better ROM. So, that being said, let's go to my computer and let's show you guys the files you're going to need and show you how to get this thing fully restored. Alright guys, here we go. We are on the computer. Um, now, there's a couple things. This is my site. I'm going to get you all the files here. So, if you just scroll down to Redmi Note 3 Pro, and if you have the Kenzo version of it, then you'll have the files here. Otherwise, I'll link you to some other places you can look for other files, along with some XDA threads, and there's a lot of good information out there. I'll link a lot in the video description. So just go ahead and click on the Redmi Note 3 Pro, and then you got all these things right here. But what we're gonna go do is the firmware unbrick folder. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download this, this fast boot EDL mode. This is very important. This is the latest Kenzo Global image, so MIUI ROM. And then you're going to want to download the MI Flash Zip and Universal Drivers. So basically everything here in this Unbrick folder, um, you're going to want to download and go ahead and run all those. All right, so also I'll give you guys this really quickly. This is an excellent thread, and I'll link it in the description below. that really, really talks about this, and it's very, very good, very well written and should really help you guys if you're having troubles that you can't follow just the video. So we got that as well. All right, we've got all of that information and I'm gonna go ahead and click into my file. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take everything, you're gonna extract it, you're gonna extract all your stuff and put them in some folders. So this is the EDL mode and what you got left is these couple folder files and then this is the former Unbrick right here and you've got your MI Phone EXE, which you're going to run, this is for Windows. You're going to run that and it's going to install that uh, program. You're going to run your Universal Driver install and do that as well. Also, if you're on Windows 8 or maybe even 10, you have to enable unsigned drivers. And there's a whole separate video on it. Google it and you'll figure out how to do that for the drivers to install for the uh, MI Phone EXE. So on 7, it doesn't matter, just give you a pop up and you just approve it. So you just run through that, it's, it's just a normal install like any program, blah, 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 you know. Same with the universal ADB setup, run through those. Here's the firmware. So you're going to want to take this firmware and you're going to want to put it somewhere on your C drive. So 
we go to my computer I put it in this folder called MIUI and then it comes as a TGZ you extract it then it's a tar you extract it again and then you have a folder inside the folder you should see this images and all these batch files okay very important to get to this point with everything um, I use something called 7-zip and it looks like a so to extract things then you just hit extract and it'll keep extracting it down until you're left with this and this this file right here okay hope that makes sense for you so then that's right here on my C drive alright now we're gonna launch the program which is uh, right here and this is the MI flash tool but before we do that we're gonna go back a little bit to here and go to that EDL mode and this is really important to have this because you can't flash anything in fast boot mode like you see with the device you have to do it with EDL mode so easiest thing to do is once you're in fast boot like that just double click the EDL command and now your device you see has rebooted and it's rebooted into EDL mode and the way you know is it's got a little flashing red LED up on top in the top corner and that's EDL mode so now we can install things now you might have to wait for your drivers to install if you're having problems with knowing if your drivers are installed you can go to a computer right click and you know, manage and it'll bring up device manager on your computer click on manage and then I think it's under yeah right here you should see something called Qualcomm HS USB QD loader COM3 see it so that is the Qualcomm bootloader mode or basically bootloader mode um, and that means your drivers are installed correctly if you don't see that then your drivers probably aren't installed and another thing we can check to make sure your drivers are installed correctly is we'll take that flash tool and my flash and we'll hit refresh and see it comes up as COM3 and sees that we have one connected so that means we're connected and everything's functioning correctly alright so from here we're just gonna go over here to uh, browse and what you're gonna do is see there's that MIUI folder I created on my C drive and then you're just going to select the folder of the name of the ROM or fast boot files you're flashing and it should say images below but just select the one with the name of the ROM hit OK alright and then from here this will wipe data factory set your device so be aware of that we're just gonna go ahead and hit the flash button and you'll flash official firmware to your device or unbrick and restore whichever so we're going ahead and hit flash and you can see it is reading data packs and it's going through the process. Now, um, process really isn't that long. Uh, there's a progress bar, which is really nice. Normally, it's within 270 seconds, I think, something like that, or less. So it's, a, it's actually a really quick flash, which is, which is really nice um, that it doesn't take forever to do. So we'll just let the progress bar go across and then you'll see it. All right, so there you go. Um, 130 seconds so what is that two minutes and ten seconds that is a pretty quick restore so actually we're done here we see we're still in um, EDL mode with that flashing LED but if it says successful you can go ahead and unplug if it doesn't say successful you just want to do the process over but uh, and then we're just gonna hold power just power until the device boots and you should see the boot animation logo up here um, on the device there we go it's kind of a long hold of power, so you know don't worry about that. And there you go, that's boot up. We're done on the computer, which is awesome. Well, just a quick note about boot up here. Normally this does take a little while, um, depending on the operating system, really. It, like, it might sit here and, and do this boot up for up to 10 minutes. It might boot within a couple minutes. Um, it just depends on how long it takes to rebuild the files for the new boot up here. So uh, just make sure you give it 10 minutes. If it doesn't work in 10 minutes, um, I would guess more like that you have the wrong firmware file and probably what you need to do is boot back into now uh, boot back into fast boot mode go into EDL mode and try to find the right firmware file online and try the flash again um, that would be my recommendation or you could boot into 
fast boot mode and just try wiping data factory set from fast boot which is fast boot minus w command from command window will actually wipe data factory set the device from fast boot mode yeah that's a cool trick um otherwise yeah that's it we're gonna let it boot up here and there you go that is the initial welcome screen to do your setup boom very simple back from the beginning mi ui7 welcome screen greets you there so guys that's going to be it for me that's going to wrap up this video here on the redmi note 3 pro i uh, hope you have enjoyed it i'm going to hopefully be doing more videos on this device like unlocking the bootloader getting root access installing some custom roms and whatnot as this thing is very solid I'm, i mean the feel of this phone the functionality of it is excellent it's an excellent product it really is and for a great price if you want to pick up one of these and follow along with me on some of these cool videos definitely check out the link in the video description down below and i'll link you to a great place so you can pick one up and that's about it stay tuned for more good videos guys we'll catch you in the next one root junkie out